Hey, how's it going guys? This is Dave2D and this is the Alienware 13. It's been updated for the end of 2016. It's a complete redesign, 21% thinner, GTX 10 series cards, and it's finally running a quad core CPU. So it starts at $1,200. The top and bottom panels have the same color as before. They're now aluminum, but it still has the iconic alien head logo. The screen hinge has shifted forwards a bit. I didn't love the design at first because it looks so different from most laptops these days, but it's grown a lot on me over the past couple of weeks and I like it. The build quality in this is top notch. The display panel and the chassis are both rigid. Hinge is well made with good tension. It's thinner than the previous generation, but it's not light. So Alienware focuses more on long-term durability. They even use steel under the keyboard to reinforce it. That's some heavy stuff. So I would legitimately feel comfortable dropping this thing from like six feet up. You can easily access the internals. The killer Wi-Fi card is upgradable, but it's really one of the better ones out there. There's two RAM slots. You can upgrade it to 32 gigs. And you also have two M2 drive bays. The stock drive from Toshiba has good speeds. The 76 watt hour battery is underneath the shroud here and you'll get around four and a half hours of regular use. The keyboard is nice. It feels different from the more common chiclet keys, but the typing experience is great. It's got a cushy 2.2 millimeters of travel and it feels really responsive. The keys use zone lighting. I kind of wish that they were individually lit. And the other thing are these page up and page down keys. So it's cool that they included dedicated keys, but because of their positioning, you're gonna accidentally hit them when you're trying to use the arrow keys. You'll get used to them, but in the beginning, you will make mistakes. The trackpad uses synaptic drivers. It's the same style of trackpad as the 15 inch from last year. Light up surface, which I'll always love. Millions of colors to choose from in the software. It's got a great surface texture, accurate tracking, and it has nice physical buttons. I'm glad they brought this trackpad to the 13 inch version. Going around the sides, we have audio jacks, two USB-3s, two USB-Cs, the one on the back even supports Thunderbolt 3, and there's also display outputs, Ethernet, and the Alienware graphics amp port. So external GPU options work right out of the box. You can use Thunderbolt 3, like a Razer Core, or you can use the graphics amp from Alienware. The webcam up here looks okay. It's not the best image quality, but it has infrared capabilities. So it works with Windows Hello to log in with facial recognition. And you can set up other stuff like sleep and security functions. This unit has the OLED panel option. It's 2560 by 1440. It's bright, it has ridiculously high color gamut, and it looks amazing. Now, I tried to do some visual comparisons, but you can't really showcase how nice this looks over a video. Games, movies, any kind of media consumption looks awesome. The image just looks so rich and vibrant, and blacks are as black as they're gonna get. Imagine ink. But the one thing to keep in mind, if you're a content creator, you wanna run calibration software to tone down the saturation. As for burn-in on laptop OLED displays, they supposedly have tech to prevent this, but we'll find out in time. The speakers fire out from the side and they sound pretty nice. They stay clear up to around 80% volume. Bass isn't strong, there's no subwoofer, but most people will be happy with this audio system. The performance is solid. My biggest complaint about last year's Alienware 13 was their CPU choice. They went with a dual-core Ultrabook processor. This year, they went with the quad core, the Skylake 6700HQ, and it also has the GTX 1060. The combination of these two can easily handle most of the current generation 3D titles at 1080p. On a 13 inch screen, it's pretty tough to see the resolution benefits of 1440p in games, so I benchmark everything at 1080p. Battlefield 1 runs at around 85 frames per second on ultra graphics at 1080p, and this has to be one of the best looking games of 2016. Shadow Warrior 2 runs at around 60 frames per second, same deal for settings, ultra graphics at 1080p, and then Witcher 3 is still one of the most demanding titles out there, and at max graphics settings, we're looking at around 40, maybe 45 frames per second at 1080p. Now, if you want more details about gaming performance, stay till the end of the video. 4K video edits are a breeze and it's fully VR capable. It's crazy. It's a 13 inch gaming laptop that crushes VR. I couldn't detect any CPU throttling in games and even when running benchmark loops in 3 Mark, this thing kept its clock speed up. The fans spin when it's idle, but it's very quiet. You can't really hear it. And under load, it's louder, but it's still a very tolerable sound. Heat output is very comfortable to use even under load. The thermal management here is on point. So with the new AW13, you're getting a very well-built laptop in a relatively dense package. The OLED display option is bright and vibrant. It's like the best looking laptop screen I've played games on. The keyboard is comfortable to use and feels really responsive when gaming. The trackpad lights up and is also really good. The Skylake i7 and the GTX 1060 deliver great performance and are very well cooled. 
The RAM and the drives are easy to access and upgrade, and the 76 watt hour battery will last you around four and a half hours of regular use. Okay, I think Alienware did a fantastic job with this thing. It probably deserves to win the most improved laptop of 2016. It still has its limitations. It's a 13 inch device, so you're not gonna get maxed out big screen gaming, but there's very little I dislike about this laptop. Maybe it's weight, but if you wanna see more gaming performance, check the video description below. I made something special. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. It's been nice. I'll see you guys next time.